Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2B red pile for October and November. So before I get going with my TBR pile for the next two months, as far as my last two months went, uh, that went really well. I was a little worried at one point because I got pretty far behind <laughs> and I was like, oh lord, I'm not going to finish all these books in this two-month two uh, span of time. But I made it work and the only book that I did not completely finish was uh, the third book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Maas. And uh, yeah, I'm almost done with this book. I almost got it in there. So yeah, I just have a very tiny bit left of this. I've, I should finish it within a couple days. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, A Court of Wings and Ruin, book three in this particular series. Uh, loving the series. You guys are loving it. And I'm so sad that it's ending. <laughs> so what I'm going to attempt to read after I'm done with that series, I'm going to read this book, uh, The Prose Edda by Snorri Sturluson. I probably butchered the pronunciation of that, but oh well. Um, yeah, The Prose Edda. If you don't know what The Prose Edda is about, it's... Yeah, it's Norse mythology, essentially, where we get all the Norse mythology stories. And yeah, it's just a very tiny book. I have read various different versions of the Prose Edda. Um, so I wanted to try the Penguin Classics edition because I've read some versions in the past and I, I get a little bored. And I'm kind of hoping maybe this I won't get too bored with. <laughs> Next, I want to read The Forbidden Queen by Anne O'Brien. And this is historical fiction focusing on Catherine of Valois, who was the wife of King Henry V. And yeah, through Catherine of Valois, uh, eventually that kind of springs up the Tudor dynasty because after King Henry V dies, she remarries a Tudor. <laughs> so yeah, she is kind of essentially the start of the Tudors and it's all very, very fascinating. And yeah, Catherine of Valois, she, does, she doesn't get a lot of historical fiction love. She's been getting a lot more in recent years, which is amazing. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to start this. And yeah, Anne O'Brien, I hear that Anne O'Brien, she's fairly popular as a historical fiction writer, so this is going to be my first from her. And yeah, if, if I enjoy this, I'm definitely going to pick up more from her. Next, I'm going to read The Orphan's Tale by Pam Genoff, and this is World War II historical fiction. And it's about this young woman. She gets impregnated by a Nazi officer. She has to give up her baby. She goes into exile. Uh, she comes across this, this train bound for a concentration camp and it has a bunch of children in it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the plot summary for this book, you guys. There's her getting pregnant, losing her child, or giving up the child, I guess, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, the, the train of kids. Uh, and then, yeah, something about her, she makes an escape to, like, a circus, a traveling circus or something. <laughs> Seriously, the plot is ridiculous. There's so much going on. It's not a very big book, but I, I'm dying to read this and know what's going on. And it sounds like it's going to be heartbreaking, but perhaps uplifting by the end, maybe. I don't know. That's my hope, anyway. So, yeah, definitely cannot wait to get to this. Definitely sounds right up my alley. Next, I have See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt. And I love this cover, you guys. This is a really cool cover with this bird. And this is also historical fiction. And this is about Lizzie Borden. Yeah, guys. Uh, I have previously read a another historical fiction book about Lizzie Borden, but it was a young adult novel. And that was called Sweet Madness. And I actually was really disappointed with that book. Um, so I'm hoping, since this is an adult historical fiction novel about Lizzie Borden, I'm really hoping that I'll prefer this over the young adult version. Uh, but yeah, a another kind of short book here. Very excited to read this. And the last two books that I have here are both from the Shadowhunter universe by Cassandra Clare. And the first one is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. And this is by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Weiserman. And uh, yeah, this is just a bunch of uh, short stories combined into one volume. 
uh, about the character of Simon. These were all originally done as like ebooks, I want to say. They came out like monthly, so uh, I've been waiting for this hardback edition with them all bound up in one edition. So yeah, this is going to be cool, I think. This came out a long time ago, too. You guys, I'm so behind. <laughs> and then the final book here is Lord of Shadows, also by Cassandra Clare from the Dark Artifices series, uh, book two in the series. I really enjoyed the first book in the series. Uh, I'm very, very excited to see where this second book is going. And uh, yeah, if you don't know, this series, The Dark Artifices, uh, like I said, takes place in the Shadowhunter universe, but uh, over in Los Angeles. Uh, but a lot of the Mortal Instruments characters do make cameo appearances, which is really cool. And, uh, you know, I'll say it again. I said this in one of my book hauls when I was hauling this book. I hate this cover, you guys. Seriously, I hate this cover. There's, there's just all this black, black empty space right here, and it's really distracting. <laughs> So I think I can squeeze out one more book to read. So I'm going to take out my TBR box here and let's see how this goes. Let's see what I pull out. And I have it over here to the side, you guys. It's, it's overflowing. It's very full. I would have it in frame uh, right now. I'd let you guys see that I am pulling something out, that I'm not cheating. But I'm just kind of digging to the bottom here. I'll just take this one that fell out. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> Let's see, what is it? Ooh! From my TBR box, I pulled out The King's Deception by Steve Barry. And I have previously read one other Steve Barry book, that being The Romanoff Prophecy. And that's one of my favorite books, you guys. I freaking love that book. So yeah, what is this book about? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this does take place in a contemporary setting. Um, but yeah, it has something to do with uh, the main character that he he's helping out this uh, teenage fugitive and he kind of gets wrapped up into this big conspiracy. Uh, something that has to do with some shocking Tudor secrets. And yeah, uh, the things that he learns, uh, they could rock Great Britain to its royal foundations. That's what the synopsis says. And it does. It looks like it has a lot to do with with Ireland's uh, a legal reason why the English must leave Northern Ireland. The answer is a long buried secret that calls into question the legitimacy of the entire 45 year reign of Elizabeth I, the last Tudor monarch who completed the conquest of Ireland and seized much of its land. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. I think a lot of history, a lot of politics, all wrapped around something with Queen Elizabeth I. But yeah, all taking place in a contemporary setting. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to read this. Uh, Steve Barry, he did not disappoint me when I read the, the Romanoff Prophecy, so hopefully I enjoy this just as much as I did that book. So that's it for this TBR, guys. In the comments below, have you guys read any of these books? Do you want to read any of them? And what books do you guys plan on reading this month? Just let me know your thoughts down below. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.